Level 17, 17, 17. We shouldn't have too much tough time of it because they're lower level than us. A lot of tougher time doing damage while we have no real choice. We'd also open up with some kind of a heavy hitting spell. What exactly are you weak against? Nothing really. Earth and poison work fairly well. Yeah, I'm not sure what you're doing, but stop it. I think we're gonna start with the good old meteor shower. Usually gets their attention. Please do. Oh my friend. There's still some of them left. Not that it really matters. Ooh, two divine items. The rest of the fighting is going to be any more tougher than this one, so we get to start with something big, pretty much in the fight in there. What 
What's that green? A single handed weapons for some reason. I'll look the closer at the loot once we get to this. Bone crushers. Hunters. There's a lot of water there. The ice attack people there. The, the damage is just much weaker. Actually, it isn't. Try this. Oath of Desecration. Could I see the spider in action? At least once. It would be important information to know what we can do with it. Weakening spider bite. Weaken your target and deal a little bit of piercing damage. So it's this. I, I suppose the lower level spell mainly means that this guy doesn't have all that many abilities. He's still a higher level, probably has a decent amount of hit points thanks to this. But his ability selection is pitiful. Ah, uh, pathetic. Twenty-four points of damage. Mighty staff.
We got a little bit of extra experience out of this, that's it. Ah, no complaints, easy fights. Spider is a piece of crap though. We probably should treat seriously the option of taking a master level summoned creature. The, the costs are more or less similar on a lot of the summoned creatures. The undead skeleton was uh, fairly cheap compared to almost everything else. After that there are about six, seven, eight points to summon. There's a bit of a difference but not a massive one. Yeah, it's a set chill status. Uh, we want status effects, we want something that will actually disable. Chill doesn't do shit. I suppose you could build a group around those status effects, so they would support each other. Uh, I don't like It's just unnecessary as far as I can see. Sarong the Warrior. That could be very useful for the warrior. Or not. Resistances, to me, grim resistance, willpower. I actually like this more. Strength is always nice, though. It. What is it? Offense rating, ma improves man at arm skills, how much you can carry, weight of items you can move. Yeah, it doesn't actually increase damage. If it would increase damage, that would be one thing, but it doesn't. It's a good secondary item, though. If we get uh, into a situation where we start losing our gear because we get uh, reduced strength, we can pop it uh, temporarily with that. Dexterity. Fire resistance. Inflict frozen on contact. Unblocks player. Um, could be very useful. Especially for the rogue. Perception, movement, dexterity, constitution, lore mastery, immunity to being petrified. Yeah, plus one perception and a little bit of extra movement isn't all that great. Extra dex. Uh, it's fine though, because it also increases action points, and movement is critical to what Scarlet does. However, inflicting frozen on contact is quite nice. Fire resistance isn't exactly worth it either. Fire seems to be the thing that gets thrown our way the most. What would dexterity add? Offense rating and basically dodging. That's about it. I don't think it makes a difference in their skills anymore. It's too high. But the defense rating is nice. We can push it over 100 soon. Alternatively, give up constitution immunity to being petrified. It's not actually... I, I don't recall anyone using it. And the uh, vitality while nice... Isn't that important. I'd rather keep the perception and movement because it's action points and mobility. And actually, the fire resistance is always welcome. We could do more damage with the weaponry. We would need to. Um, we're we're made basically focused on status effects. 
a stunning status effects especially. It, I can't say it's not useful. It has saved my ass a couple of times, so I, I don't see how a little bit of extra damage could have done the same. I want to go and meet with the elemental we encountered. Where was it? But I think it was on this side of the river. I'll take a closer look at the bug and things here probably. Why are, why are you going? No reason to dodge the watchful eyes anymore. In fact, we might as well uh, let them see me, see what the consequence is. He's gonna summon something or what? Uh, instant death. <laughs> That's right, they're, they're mines. I have to say, I was expecting something completely different. Because it's vital that you initiate a fight against them. Weakness to air and piercing. They're not that strong. So I suppose it's perfectly appropriate. It would be dangerous to use air attacks here. Careful now, that's a trap. Earth resistance boots. Mm. We'll probably get closer to Source Temple thanks to this. Uh, there were a lot of uh, Dread Knight patrols going around here. Right, do I actually get any experience from blasting the mines? Fuck, fuck, I'm dead. That's a nasty enemy. By the time they react, it's already over. I don't think I'm getting any experience out of fighting them. There's no real downside to doing it either. You get a single drop of something out of them.
Mutt Lord. Vulnerability to air. These murky waters stink of demon corruption. Now to hunt and play. Uh, fuck. Mud, 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 mud. That's quite a lot of mud things. Um. Right. Eleven points. I don't need a decoy. I need to stop them somewhere here, no matter what, anyway. So, um, I'm here. Do a hail attack. I don't think it's a good idea, they're so resistant to it. I mean, I can do it, but it simply won't amount to much. We're much better off trying to... ...funnel them somewhere here. I just block my ass. I can't see it, that's what it seems to me. Screw it. Can I please get probably three or four of them to stay in this general area? And more of them. Doesn't matter if they're breaking the different group. Watchful eye is the only real problem. Right, the guy from the long distance will still arrive more or less to save location. Might not get them all, but there's still a fairly nice group in there. Kill the skeleton. Thank you. Petrified. Which ones I uh, want to hit. Uh, I don't want to hit this because they might not exactly hit exactly where I think they will. I 
gonna get some oil. I want to shock the water in general if we can do it. Feel my electric fury. Yeah, I thought I was worried about this. Get our own ass stunned. Uh, I need sun immunity, not the removing of the status effects, because the status effect will just return. Slowed or stunned, take your pick. Or both. It's not gonna do anything. Right. He doesn't have a good way to maneuver. It's just gonna take damage if he tries to do anything clever. So we more or less successfully broke up their little group, which allows us to easily manage the rest. This will be fine. We need to counter him soon. the best thing about the spell is that you can just keep throwing it every turn. Sheep and the Mud Lord basically is incapable of coming to us and attack and it will cause him to Save my points. Oh, there's a lot of air attacks, electricity attacks, so I'll let him do the damage. something and you miss that's an interesting thing to do I think I'll uh, please maneuver a little bit force them to come into the shocking area if they want to come after me I need to re-shock the water I 
don't want to remove it either. It could be very, very useful for us. Go with an air elemental. It's a good distraction. I don't want to. Because it can cause unintended electrification of that field. That would be catastrophic. We all just cover Scarlet's ass a little bit. Really resistant to physical damage. I needed that. Try freezing someone's ass, I suppose. Well, we played two guys out of the fight, that's fairly nice. Scarlet is taking damage, but he also has some heals on her, so she'll be fine. She's not affected by the poison anymore. Right, we've got the Scarlet can easily take out the demon and and they're basically phone. They're both incapable of doing anything. The stun effect might spread in the water, so that's a little bit of a problem. But it's a minor problem at best.
I can't see shit. Nothing works. It's dead, but okay. Does the game not updating the icon health bars open enough? Resistances should be shit at this point. Don't sleep. <laughs> Stunned and diseased and taking a huge amount of damage. Well, huge might be an exaggeration. Frozen that walks a huge amount of damage. I should have a way to remove weakness. Maybe I should focus on something that allows us to get rid of those debuffs, more, especially on Broderick. Nice little warm up fight. Sweet relief. Bless the seven. I am restored. Uh, either way, I'll look what we got as good as the things here. There are the bombs still running around, so we'll at least somewhat be careful. The seven grant abundance. Movement and hit point slowed and grew. It's not particularly good. Not worthless by any means, but yes, no good. Some status effects are simply so much better than the others. Uh, petrifying touch, resistances, earth and air. It's one of those things that could be very useful in against certain opponents, while not necessarily a good overall or generic item piece. Right, do we have a... Yeah, we want the Phantom Forest Swamp point. After that I'll go and shop for Marksmanship and Earth spells. Earth is probably with air. Uh, I mean, marksmanship is probably with air. No, air would have scum though. Well, either way, we have to get it there at one. Might as well go here first. We're looking at a single, single master level of level.
641 It shouldn't cost too much, but I'll still transport some generic gear so we can trade. be good enough. Welcome back. The rock spirit within me greets the Which rock spirit within you. Right. So one adept, one master. Deadly spores. Multiple poison spores. Deal a couple of hundred poison damage each to anything from three meters from impact. Okay, to use Seems like a weaker meteor swarm type of attack. No earthquake is that. 300% chance to get set knocked down. Basically, that's guaranteed unless you have immunity. Creates random oil surfaces. This would do earth damage and cripple ground based movement. This has potential. If er, if basically fire is unusable, this could still serve fairly well. Uh, it would do damage, slow down ground based movement, and more importantly, it will break down the team. We would, wouldn't have to deal with the enemy group in a sing as a single team. Tectonic spray. Petrify oil surface. Damage, almost as much damage as the earthquake. We we don't have that many much damage spells in the earth lineup. Earth absorption. Absorbs earth damage. Immune to petrification on demand. Hmm. Eight oh, some earth lemon thing. Can cast a deadly spore spell and double boulder bat. They deal crushing and earth damage can cripple their targets. It seems like it's a powerful fire type that has a couple of earth spells. It's only 8, so it's usable. Poison slug, I, I don't want to. Slow may not seem to be good at anything, but it can sure take a lot of punishment. Its normal attack has a 20% chance of slowing its target. So this is basically a tank. I wouldn't say this is a worth a bad thing, but it's it's very hard to get them to attack your tank unless you can taunt them at the same time, which I cannot do. So slug, yeah, I don't see why you wouldn't take the earth elemental. It lasts 30 seconds. It lasts 18. I think 18 is more or less. This, uh, no, 30 seconds is the standard. So, Earth Elemental, while powerful, is not gonna. You can't have it last in the battlefield over much. Honestly, I don't know if that's a big deal, because summoned creatures usually don't last their 3 turns anyway. 
they either get killed or they're simply gonna be unsummoned through some kind of attack spell. So I'm not sure if that's a deal. I sort of want a high level summon. But uh sort of don't. Not with a guy who already has a handful of summoning spells to utilize. Uh, looks like we're gonna have to go with the Tectonic Spray. Not a bad choice, it does some decent damage. Earthquake, probably. It's, it's useful. Fire protection or immunity is also fairly common. Hmm. Although we have the water attack already, so Earth is not really that important. Yeah, I don't know. Not with the Master of the least, but we have to take something. really don't want to pay them anything. I just dump something on them. I'm not really using the wand, so a lower level wand could probably do it. May the earth spiper. Uh, we don't actually have to do the marksmanship by purchasing. But what I would still like to very much see is what you can get. From marksmanship, marksmanship line of skills. It's fairly important. We'll determine whether we truly want to spend points there or not. Do we want to go with four, or do we want to basically go with something else? Maybe even a little bit of men at arms. No, we would definitely take defense abilities at that point. I'm not saying another skill would be a bad idea, but I, I don't think I want to go that way. I'd rather specialize in what we're doing now as much as we can. Defenses and status effects are absolutely our play, though it's not like it wouldn't be worthwhile to invest in that. Not a guaranteed protection, but um, there's the bot. I'll I have to everything I plan will fail less. Da -da -da, da -da -da, yeah, sort of, da -da -da, oh, this is not oh the one. My, da -da -da. I think fire is man at arms. So water has to be marksmanship. We don't need to purchase anything necessarily. If something doesn't hit our eye, we can just By keep the it up. Hoary beard of Boreas, but I need to see it. You've Shrapnel. You've Requires home. range weapon. Not it's usable. About time, isn't it? Your quarters have mm. been invaded Decrease by all armor, but grant madness. fire resistance against all elements. Rain of Arrow. Increases luck and critical chance of you and all around.
Uh, okay, I guess. Poison? Vampiric Arrow. Uh, I, I don't think so. Uh, Survivor's Karma, I think, has potential. But to explode. everything master level that seems good and decent requires you to act available. So uh, I think I'll just buy the Survivor's Karma and spend the, the points on survival of the Warriors, can it be? You've come. You've come home. It's about time, isn't it? You're caught off to explore. Defensive ability. Uh, another would be Tenebrium though. So maybe we spend a couple of points. Uh, we are not getting any bonuses from actual skills, so this would be fairly cheap to develop a little bit. We would only need two points to get Tenebrium up. These are both pretty good to have some defenses against. Bodybuilding isn't that dangerous. It, it will cripple your ability to do things, but you'll still have a good amount of survivability and you can do stuff. Willpower just disables you entirely. You can become even, uh, attack your own guys. Oh, we'll buff that a little bit. A little bit of extra on the body building front. Reduces the chance of receiving a status by 60%. And we have two points available if we need to buff Tenebrium weapons further. I think we'll keep the similar ability available with the uh, Medora. about you? I, I, do I care about another master level ability? I, I suppose it's uh, convenient. If I get a level up now, I will be able to get Geomancer to 5. It might also make the abilities more usable in general. But that would be absolutely the last point I'm gonna spend on these. I think it's worth taking to five just to get uh, maybe the cost reductions and another option with the master lineup. There were a couple of good options there, uh, especially a high level summon would be nice. So maybe they're level four. Big question mark is what to do with Jahan. Am I going to go with another spell or am I going to just stop? I start buffing my own abilities. Um, I sort of think a third lineup of spells would be useful because I'm quite often in a situation where air, air and water both are sort of unusable. Water is especially a thing that sort of makes that happen. There aren't that many good offensive eye spells, and using shock abilities is very, very questionable. So, something else. Fire doesn't really have good abilities. Uh, I think Witchcraft would be the one because the ability to just buff your own guys or give up the enemies a little bit would also suffice in a lot of situations. So I don't want this to be too high level. Or do I? Um. We could easily get it to so we can get access to a single master level witchcraft skill. That would be one extra level up. I think we want to take novice and adept a level. Of 
And that still leaves us with five points, so we can do whatever we need to do. Witchcraft was Earth. Might as well get it done. Surely I have some of them already. Other scrolls, no spellbooks really. Fair enough. Uh, something simple will do. Desecration, maybe a charm spell. Along those lines. Welcome back. The rock spirit within me breeds the rock spirit. Oath of Desecration. Rapture. Charmer Target. Yeah, sure. But we don't have this spell at all. So a little bit of different selection on those guys. Cannot be healed. Decrease all elemental resistance of enemies around you. Why don't I have this already? It's a 20% penalty. Still, definitely taking it. Pipe. How many adaptable abilities can I afford? Two. Welcome back. The rock spirit within me greets the rock spirit within you. May the earth's pipe. Mute, Rapture, Auto Desecration, and Lower Resistance. Right. Level up, nice path to abilities and all that. I think we are in a much, much better place now than we were when we started with this. Where to next? I guess the temple. I, I don't see there's any point in killing the mines in the swamp. There might be a couple of items here, but. More or less, we want to get things going here. 